Okay guys, we are here in Glendale, Arizona, and today we're doing something pretty fun. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, I have went ahead and I have done my attempt at making Ken Roxon in this game. Now I am going to talk about Ken Roxon in a future video and kind of why he's actually not in the game and kind of my thoughts on that, what we've heard throughout the community and all of that. And I'll talk about that stuff in a future video. This is just going to be me having some fun playing as Ken Roxon here in Glendale. So if you guys didn't know, I made a video before this game was released when the first trailer dropped for this game and I was talking about how Ken Roxon is not in the game. Now we had the people that didn't want to believe it was true. We had the haters. We had the people that agreed. The people that said, you know what? It's kind of logical. Ken's not in any of the trailers. Why would they not use him in any of the initial trailers? He's a huge name in the sport, so it kind of makes sense. And then the game was released and here we are guys. Kenny is not in the game. So today I have recreated Ken Roxon's kit from 2019 Glendale Supercross. Maybe I'll throw a side-by-side -side image up on screen. This is the kit we have created right here, guys. It is not perfect. It is not perfect, but it is pretty close. And I'm gonna go over the whole build and everything, the gear, and talk about that in the video. 2019 Glendale Supercross, we are here on Glendale, rockin' Roxon's kit. Let's get into the video. So here we go guys, here is the kit. Like I said, I will throw an image up of Ken's actual kit. I'll throw it up on screen. Two things we couldn't do, we couldn't get the new version of the instincts, so those are a little off. I mean, they just are missing like a little bit of white in the helmet. The helmet is not Ken Roxon's Red Bull helmet, which kind of sucks, but there are no Red Bull helmets in the game, so we just went with a clean black helmet. Now the bike, the bike is pretty accurate. Like we have it down to the suspension, the forks, everything on the bike is accurate to what Kenny runs, the exhaust, the handlebars, everything. Now the one thing we couldn't do is we couldn't get the HRC graphics kit. So we couldn't get Kenny's graphics, but I mean, hey, I think it's looking pretty good. What do you guys think? We got uh, the bike, the Honda, the Fox gear, we got Roxon on the back, and I think it's looking good. Like I said, not perfect, but it is definitely pretty close. So we're gonna hop into this race, play as Ken Roxon, have some fun with it. If you guys do enjoy at any point in time, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. Other than that, guys, click that subscribe button. If you are new around here, throw any comments down below. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys think this is a good job at remaking Kenny? Or do you guys think we could have done better? Let me know what you would have done different if you were the one making Ken Roxon in this game. If you guys have made Ken Roxon because you wish you could play as him, let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you used as gear, as a bike. Let me know what you guys did to make your Ken Roxon. If you guys haven't done it, I encourage you to go make a Ken Roxon. Maybe make a Ryan Dungey. Maybe make a Ryan Dungey because he's not in the game either. That would be a killer to see some of those. You guys can send me those pictures on Twitter, Instagram. Social media is linked down in the description below, guys. Check out the Real Life channel, guys. Goonzig Productions. All my real life riding goes on there. And uh, let's have some fun with this, man. Let's have some fun as Ken Roxon. So, HRC kind of sucks we can't ride as like the official team and we can't have like the team graphics but this is pretty close to having Kenny in the game I wish we could save this well I guess we can save this gear setup and then just change the name every time we want to play as Ken rocks and, and it's cool that the customization in the game allows you to do this it would be cool if Kenny was in the game but like I said I have a future video coming out talking about Kind of just my opinion as to why he isn't in the game and everything. So you guys can stay tuned for that video. It's coming out probably in a couple weeks here. I'm going to kind of get some points together, look look in, do some research, and see if we can figure anything out before actually coming in and talking about it. Because if I can find some facts, if I can find some facts about why Kenny isn't in the game, if we can find some juicy information, that will be huge. But I think it's just due to money. You know, money and uh, everything that comes with it like 
you're not just in the game, you have to actually do stuff for the game. Like I've seen posts from Tomac and stuff promoting the game, if that makes sense. So maybe Roxon didn't want to get involved in that, but like I said, story for another video. Oh, and we're down! We are down, going down to Anderson. Oh, dude, Kenny, man. It looks like you are just cursed. Kenny has had every opportunity to have a good race in 2019. And I'm not saying he hasn't had a good race yet. He just hasn't won. And he has had the opportunities. Things just do not go his way. What about Blake Baggett coming in and taking the win that one day after the red flag? at like the second round there. If that red flag never happened, Kenny probably would have won. Kenny probably would have got the win. Most of you guys know I'm a huge Husqvarna fan in these games. I really love the way the Husky rides, but I am liking the Honda right now. I am actually liking the way the Honda feels, the way it rides and everything. And uh, maybe I'm gonna have to try out some new bikes. I do want to try out all the bikes in the game. I'm slacking on that. Like the game's been out for like two weeks now and I have not touched some of the bikes. Now, it is hard to earn credits and like after doing this setup, for Ken Roxon, I was drained of like 500,000 credits. Just for making this setup with the bike, the gear and everything, it costs a lot to do in this game. Um, a couple things I think I could have done a little different. We could probably change the writing on the back of his jersey to black, and it would probably make it, in my opinion, a little bit better. I think next time if we ever play as Ken Roxon again, that's what we'll do go ahead and change that over if we use this kit or if you guys want to see me make Ken Roxon wearing a different kit let me know in the comments below and we will do that we will do maybe a series as Ken Roxon using different kits and everything every single race that would be fun that would be a fun series to do I'm missing the triple there though salvaging a line oh man what that line actually worked that was nuts that was fast Let's see if we can rewrite history though. So in real life, Roxon has not won yet. He has not. Can we get him his first win here today <laughs> at Glendale? I don't know, I thought it would be fun to ride on Glendale, just come in and have some fun. Since I made the setup based off of Glendale from 2019 or Roxon's gear that he wore at 2019 Glendale a couple weeks back, I thought it would be fun to hop in and race on Glendale with Kenny. So that is the logic behind this video. Marv getting sketchy. How did he not go down? Oh, we got even sketchier, I think. Marv is just chugging off the laps though. Triple up and over and then double into the corner. Not the fastest way through this section, but I've noticed in this game, guys, you don't have to be hitting the fastest lines as long as you're hitting consistent lines like here it is not faster this line here that Marv is hitting I messed it up but it is not faster to hit that it is faster to jump right onto that tabletop out of the corner right that is the fast line but the thing is it's a little inconsistent it's harder to make and it causes you to mess up a little bit more than you would if you were just taking the smooth line that Marv was taking there so 
I've noticed you can still win races not even hitting the fast lines as long as you just hit clean laps, make no mistakes, and get around the track quick. Like, you don't have to be hitting the fastest line out there. Hit smooth lines, and the smooth lines turn in to fast lines. Like, here we can triple, and then jump onto this table, and then, like, barely give it any gas. And then we can triple, and try and double into the corner. But if we missed the entrance into that section, if we missed something at the start of that section, our whole rhythm would have been gone or down the drain. So, same with here. Like, we can triple onto this. And then it's just like a weird line through there. And if you miss that triple on, you ruined that whole section. You have ruined that whole section for yourself. So guys, we are coming up to the last lap as Ken Roxon. Man, this was a fun video, a different video. Ever since I saw people talking about, oh, we could make Ken Roxon. I know he's not in the game, but we can just make our own. I was like, you know what? I should do that. Then I was live streaming today. And I was like, you know what guys, let's make Ken Roxon. And then as soon as I did that, I was like, I have to make a video on this. Showing you guys that like, we made Ken Roxon up in here. <laughs> if you guys want to play as Roxon, just go ahead and make your own Kenny. But I'm actually shook because on the last lap, look who comes up and, and passes us. Seely. Cole Seely. It's like they don't even want us to win. The game doesn't even want Roxon to win. We have two sections to go. And we're gonna claim victory as Ken Roxon. Get through this section clean, and we will be crowned the king of Glendale. Here we go through this section, and let's toss it. There we go, guys. Throwing a whip, taking the win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you want to see me do more videos as Ken Roxon, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. Other than that, guys. That is it. I will see you all in another one. Peace. Out.